Uh, here is a live spider. It um it must like the hot shot Fokker. Push it down strain, slowed it down. But yeah, I found others, I found insects, and I just can't see it being worth anything. Maybe the regular kind is okay, but the unscented, no, I wouldn't buy it again. Buyers beware. This can damage a ceiling fan. I did everything suggested and the fan worked fine. Now it does not work. That bug bomb is worthless. It hurt like a bug to me. And it's still alive. It didn't kill spiders. It ain't killed bugs. And I had one one of the bombs inside of this room. The only thing it killed was my overhead fan. Those bug bombs is about worthless. They claim to kill spiders. I've done seen a few. And that was the main thing. I haven't seen no bugs. No no dead ones, so they're probably already all dead. But it wasn't no bugs to kill. It may or may not be associated, but the day after I'd used the bug bomber, I tried to vacuum my carpet and then the vacuum cleaner, uh, and it's a Dyson, expensive vacuum cleaner and good product. It kept cutting out. And, you know, I did clean it and I showed the photos in the next segment, you know, showing where, you know, th there's a gummy looking substance on it. You know, so I cleaned it up and, you know, put it back together and now it works. But yeah, it's possible, but I don't know if it's actually the cause or if it was just, you know, a build up. But yeah, either way, I won't be using that bomb again. This floor afterwards, and this uh, Dyson vacuum cleaner has been a really good one. Never had a problem with it, but it kept cutting off afterwards. But I cleaned this right here a few minutes ago, and it was there's a like a a black gooey type substance that was on it, and I strongly suspect that it's the same thing that looks like it's on this brush here, and come from that the residue of the bug bomb.